preparing a stained temporary mound of an onion peel. Aim To prepare a stained temporary mound of an onion peel, to observe it under a microscope, to record the observations and draw a label diagram. Apparatus Chemicals and Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Procedure Carefully cut an onion and take a piece of a thick fleshy leaf. Use forceps to gently remove the thin membrane-like transparent peel from the inner concave side of the leaf. Immediately transfer the peel to distilled water kept in a clean petri dish. Put a few drops of saffronin in a clean watch glass and add a few drops of water if the stain is very dark. Use a brush to transfer the smaller piece of the peel to the watch glass and let it remain flat unfolded for about a minute in the stain. Use the brush to transfer the stained peel to the petri dish containing distilled water to get rid of any excess stain. Use a clean brush to transfer the stained peel to the center of a clean, dry and blank glass slide. Ensure that the peel is not folded. Remove the excess water, if any, from the slide with the help of a piece of blotting or filter paper. Place a drop of glycerin on the stained peel on the glass slide. Gently and carefully place a cover slip over the peel, taking care to see that the entire peel is under the cover slip and no air bubbles are formed between the slide and cover slip. Using the hard end of a brush, gently press the cover slip so that the glycerin spreads evenly over the peel. Examine the peel under the low power of the compound microscope. Draw a label diagram of what you actually see. Record all the observations before you discard the mounted specimen. Observations A large number of cells, each of almost rectangular shape, are seen. They lie next to each other like bricks in a wall. All the cells are almost identical in size, shape and structure. Thick distinct cell walls are seen in every cell. 4. The cytoplasm lies in contact with the cell walls of each cell. The cytoplasm is stained more densely than the cell walls and the vacuoles. Each cell has a distinct spherical nucleus in the cytoplasm. A large central vacuole is seen in every cell. No intercellular space is seen. Conclusion or Result 